So today I'm talking about a U0101 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0101 code? Well, it's a lost communication with TCM. And what does this mean? Well, there's a computer module that controls all the transmission functions and it uses information like speed and different things like this to control the shifting of the transmission. And for some reason, the main computer has lost communication with it. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to why. And one thing to mention about this code is it can be difficult to diagnose and it can be very time consuming because quite often it requires tracking down wires and things like this because the problem can be in the wiring and wiring can be difficult to troubleshoot. And so that's something to keep in mind. And so what would be some symptoms? Well, first of all, it's very common that you get multiple lights on your dashboard. You get like engine lights and different lights coming on. Also, the gear indicator that usually shows if you're in drive or reverse or whatever gear it is, quite often it doesn't display no more. And this is because this information is coming from the transmission control module. And so the main computer doesn't know which gear it's in. Sometimes the vehicle won't shift. It won't go into gear. It's very common for the vehicle to go into like limp mode, where basically it doesn't go over like 30 miles an hour or so. And there can be some different symptoms with the transmission, but basically there's going to be issues when it comes to shifting. Also, if you have a scan tool that can communicate with the transmission control module, and you plug it in and you try to communicate with it, quite often the scan tool won't be able to read it. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0101 code? Well, one of the first things to do is just be sure that you got a charged battery and that the alternator's charging and things like this, because the computers in the vehicle, they need to have a good and stable power supply. So if you are having some kind of battery issues or alternator not charging correctly issues, then that can throw things off. So be sure there's no issues with that. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a blown fuse. Of course, if the fuse is blown, then there very likely is going to be some kind of problem or some kind of issue going on in the wiring. But be sure to go and check your fuses, mainly that TCM fuse. But it can also be a good idea to check anything labeled ECU or ECM or any of the computer fuses, really. But definitely go and look and see which fuse is for the TCM and be sure it's good. The next thing that's going to cause this and a very common problem is going to be that there's something wrong inside the wiring. It's like an open or a short or just a bad connection somewhere. And like I said before, this could be difficult to troubleshoot. Basically, you need to find the TCM harness and disconnect it. And then you get a schematic of what all the pins are for. And you find your voltage and your ground wires and things like this. And you start testing to be sure that all the wires have a good connection and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Also, you can examine these connectors and check for any like transmission fluid or oil or anything like this that might have gotten into them and just be causing a bad connection because sometimes that happens something gets in them like oil or something like that and it just causes a bad connection so sometimes you can check them out you can clean them up real good use some compressed air blow them out real good and then plug them back in be sure they're plugged in good and then see if the code clears but if that doesn't work you're gonna have to start tracing all these wires and be sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and this is going to include going back to the main computer and things like this like what's called the CAN bus or the controller area network. And the CAN bus is basically just a way that all the computer modules talk to the main computer. That's, that's all that means. But basically it would be testing all the wires going back to the main computer. And of course it could be a faulty TCM. The transmission control module might have failed. These would be located differently. Sometimes they'll be located inside the vehicle, like behind the glove box. Other times they'll be up inside the engine compartment. They can even be located inside the transmission. So it's really gonna vary on where they're located. And while usually the transmission control module doesn't fail, usually it's gonna be in the wiring or something. It is possible that it's gone bad and just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanna give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0101 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.